A few comments on positioning. Position the child on the parent's lap and have the adult restrain the child's free arm by wrapping it around the torso, pinning the arm within. The hand of the same arm supports the elbow of the arm to be punctured. The parent's other hand extends down to grip the child's wrist. Keep in mind the legs are still free to kick, so tell the parent to wrap their legs around their child's legs. You should still stand to the side just in case so that your legs are out of the kicking zone. For inpatients or for outpatient situations where laying the child down is preferred, recline the patient on a bed or cot with the parent or other assistant providing gentle restraint to the legs, the free arm, and to the wrist of the arm to be punctured. Support under the elbow is important too, so you might want to see if the parent can accomplish that as well. Otherwise, you might need another assistant. The vena puncture can then be performed. Alternatively, you can wrap the child in a hospital gown to restrain the arms and legs. Then the parent is more likely to apply control where needed should the child become anxious. Regardless of their position, it's essential on younger children that their arms be immobilized during the puncture to prevent unanticipated reactions. The older the child, the more likely the child will accept the procedure without incident. However, collectors should watch for signs of anxiety and apprehension in all age groups and seek the help of an assistant in holding the patient's arm. The secret to applying restraint to a child is not to forcefully restrain a child who appears to be calm or only mildly anxious. Kids don't like to be restrained any more than adults do. A firm, forceful grip often precipitates increased anxiety and the loss of cooperation. It is best, therefore, to use only as much assistance as is necessary to assure the success of the procedure and no more.